Hello and welcome to the Sketching Greyhound. Today we're drawing a character from a movie I like pretty much. So we're talking about Constantine. So let's go. Good old Constantine. <laughs> I think it is still one of the better comic book movies of the times before the MCU. Yeah, but uh, not everyone was really 100% happy with it. Uh, Keanu Reeves is playing Constantine in this movie and yeah, he's not exactly how Constantine is in the comics. We have a blonde Constantine normally, a little bit older. So I actually think Keanu Reeves did a good job here. He played the quite uh, desolate person <laughs> pretty convincing. Uh, although he is a bit too, he still looks a little bit too polished and yeah, but um, I enjoy it. I enjoy the movie. I enjoy his performance. So I think it is an issue some perhaps even we had in the past before the movie really came out. Uh, watch the movie. Don't expect it to be too close to the comic books. Uh, but the, the danger is not that big, is it? Not everybody knows the comic books of Constantine. It's not as big as Iron Man. So it was a gamble when they decided to do this movie at all. I understand that they went with a an actor that draws a crowd, because the IP certainly by itself would not necessarily draw a crowd. Also, let's not forget that this movie was released about four years before Iron Man. The movie that really kicked off the comic book movie craze, the first of the MCU universe. So, uh, comic book movies did not make a lot of money. There were some of the bigger ones like, like X-Men worked, but it was hit or miss, so it, it was really difficult. So, I understand the choice that they went with Keanu Reeves as a crowd pleaser. But Constantine is one of the more deeper, the more complicated, more interesting characters actually that come out of comic books. It is not your standard uh, run-of-the-mill superhero in spandex and stuff. You, you can see it here in the picture. This is more or less his working uniform. Uh, he is uh, not a classic superhero. He is more of an anti-hero and he is working with magic. He is a quite competent magician actually and running around in this world, this universe, full of angels and demons and half-bloods that can actually enter the world and should not. And he's hunting those things down that should not be here because he has a debt to pay. Also, he does not really want to go to hell and who can really blame him for that, so... Yeah, it is a that the stakes are high for him and he does his his best. In this movie he gets a chance to show that he is not only working for himself, which is I would imagine not that easy. <laughs> if if you're damned to hell, then you probably would have a lot of motivation to work against that and would probably by definition be difficult to really do something selflessly because everything you would do selflessly would be to to thwart your own destiny probably so uh, not, not the nicest situation he is in and also not the nicest portrait that i have drawn here if you can see, I don't know if you have noticed here in the time lapse, but if you, you were in the live stream, you will probably have seen that I have redrawn the eyes a lot, at least the right eye, left eye for him. It just doesn't work. It's, I don't like it, but what can you do? So yeah, after a lot of, 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 of frustration, this is my Constantine. At least my first try. Perhaps there will be another one. But I have to recuperate from this for now. So, yeah. That's it. And thank you for watching. Before... 
I don't know how often I have redrawn those eyes. I'm still not really 100% happy with it. It doesn't look perfectly well like Constantine, like Keanu Reeves, but what can you do? At some point you have to concede and I learned some lessons. Perhaps not all I could have, but I learned some lessons. Let me know what you think about the picture down in the comments. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope I see you soon. Perhaps even in one of the live streams. For that, ring that bell, subscribe. Thank you very much. See you soon. Goodbye.